Round 17 of BLK Queensland Premier Rugby saw Sunny make head coach Rod Seib turn out for his last home game at the helm of the Dragons after making the decision to move on at the end of the 2016 season. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely emotional. Uh, you know, I've been here such a long time, you know, after leaving school and, uh, and coming and playing Colts here and then through grades and, and, uh, and coming back as a coach, it's, uh, it's been a sort of home away from home for me. So to, uh, to sort of show up today knowing this is my, my last sort of game day here, it's, uh, it is quite emotional. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I've loved every minute and, uh, and I'm really glad to, uh, to move on and give someone else an opportunity in the role. Having first joined the club as a player straight out of high school, Cyber tributes the Dragons for helping him develop both on and off the field. Oh, immense amount. Uh, you know, as you know, rugby is about your mates. And, uh, and I came here as a Colt and, uh, and had a great group of Colts that I played with. Uh, you know, formed great bonds, uh, many of which are you know, still involved in the club in different capacities now. So, uh, so yeah, in life they've helped me out, those sort of mates. And, um, and from a rugby perspective, uh, you know, I've pretty much learned everything here. You know, you, obviously you play a little bit of schoolboy stuff and you, you do pick up things, but, you know, playing, um, playing with men, you know, in a premier competition, uh, you learn a lot about, uh, about the game and a lot about life. And uh, it's been a yeah, great experience, um, you know, doing that here at Sunnybank. For the playing group, they're sad to lose such an influential mentor. Oh, uh, Saibi means everything to the boys. He's been around as a player, as a coach, so he's, he's done it all. He's been through what we've been through on the field, and um, yeah, he's just, he's been an icon on, on the, of the club, um, and it's just a pity we couldn't get the result for him today, but it's been great having him as our mentor and our leader for the past couple of years. Um, just on, on behalf of all the boys, we'd just like to thank Saibi for all the hard work and time he's put into the club. He travels a fair bit to come here, he does everything behind the scenes, he's always here on time and um, he always does everything for us and never expects anything in return. So just on behalf of all the boys, thank you for everything you've done, Saibi, and thank you for what you've done to the club. Been a great, great man and uh, wish you all the best in the future. Sunnybank President Dan McConaughey, who also played with Saib, said the club was sad to see him move on but wished him all the best for the future. I think saibi has been a part of the club now for upwards of 20 to 25 years um, and as we all know community clubs uh, are really built on the quality of their people um, as a person uh, both as a player as a coach uh, you know as a professional in the rugby space um, you know you, you can't find much better I mean it's a shame uh, uh, Saibi's not going to continue coaching um, or has decided not to uh, but you know we'll, we'll wish him well and uh, look forward to uh, uh, an ongoing uh, commitment of support from him in the future. For Saib, his coaching days aren't finished, with the third season of the NRC in his sights. Uh, well, uh, you know, after being involved in the NRC the last couple of years with the city side, uh, I'd love to still be involved in that. Um, so, uh, you know, going forward, you know, if I, if I can be involved again this year, that'd be fantastic. And, uh, and um, it's a great opportunity for players to, you know, go up to that next level. So to, to see players move from a Premier level to NRC and then onto Reds contracts, it's very rewarding. <laughs>